Welcome to the channel. So this is the outcome of laying down the brick pattern. I still got to put in the windows, but this is the front of the building. Now as we move to the side of the building, we see we have more windows here. and They are matched appropriately with inside of our portable playset here. And then this right here is another door, two windows. The secondary window is right here. And uh, here, I'll show it to you. We'll hold it up. Here, we'll hold it up to the light. And see the window right there? Bam. So that's the second part of the building. And then here is the third on the right, which is big enough to house your cat or your sitsu or you know your junior main coon such as my florigato but also enough for you to have your vehicles in here uh i don't have one really available right now to showcase the height but uh when i do i'll uh showcase that to you so this is the the progress of of building the diorama display today But also, let's say you 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 know you're, you're kind of pressed for space. You can also take your diorama display like this, put it down here. Here's one of my uh. Well, here I'll show it to you guys. You guys be over here making all kinds of fucking versions of my TMNT illustrations. So uh, who do I, who do I want to show as as a size reference here? Well, here we got our. Supergirl. So see how I added uh, an electric hand onto her. Everyone is shooting out lightning as she is <sighs> punching through something, exploding something. So, like, we're gonna sit here by the door, right here, which is workable. So it it, it actually works. You can kind of see, see right up in there when the display is fully done, done and completed. But back to the TMNT. So, like for me, they're the world's most shelled out superhero. So here is my version and he is holding an SMNG submachine gun uh, which I'm still e gonna utilize and equip for them all with various machine guns weapons as they uh, you know pump out fucking bullets. I mean they, they, they hit the Foot Clan with not only their ninja skills but also modern day weaponry. So here's this uh, Donatello I got which works out perfectly. Um, I still gotta get the rest of the line. I'm in love with the Mutant Mayhem line. I know some people hate it. Some people want more of the Mirage. I'm also a big fan. Also love them. Also got the TMNT game version right there. Lost in Time. Also got the TMNT Mutant uh, Secret of the Ooze 1 and 2 uh, movie versions. I wasn't able to get the, the, the 4 pack for uh, TMNT, unfortunately. You know, but anyhow, I can still get the two packs to make the four packs, but it just doesn't feel the same. So, I'm still going to get them anyways, because I, I am a collector, as you can see. I got my Pink Power Ranger April O'Neil next to the April O'Neil that came out, Mutant Love Interest Story. And also, you know, for uh, Gargoyle Scales, like, you know, because I'm still doing my Gargoyle thing, where... She and, and lives in New York alongside the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now she also, now she can fit through the door without the wings. But she also doesn't dwarf out the door being how she is about an 8 inch figure. And uh, when she can stand, when she's standing, she can probably look out over, you know, maybe make, make the window a little bit bigger for her. But I can make some adjustments. But it's going to go very well with the TMNT. Here we're going to bring out... Raphael, like he's just coming right out. Uh, 
in the household. Like, yo, 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 Main Street Pizza here, yo. And see how nice of a scale that looks. And it's a representation and it's made for one and one twelve scale action figures, you know, because the T M M and T uh you know, they kinda live within the animatronic world of Zootopia, you know, you know. We got her here. You know, so this you know how she fits she beep 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 building all this <laughs> She got on her uh, glasses, and she got on this little hula. And she fits very well, so, you know, what you kind of expect. Got her Felicia Dog Stalker, cat version right here. Supervising everything, making sure the Dog Stalkers have a nice home. When I can be able to get not only the Morgan Angel in action figure because it's still on pre sale right now. And right here is my uh, inner cape that I kind of pictured out of it. Or, you know, our um, Lord Dimitri wearing, you know, something like this. I think it looks cool. Like, like for the inside of a cape. Looks very stylish indeed, I think. But anyhow, so that's what I am doing right now in the creation station of Freshwater Planet Travel Aquatics LLC, as well as making dioramas for um, Public Aquarium, which I got approved by not only the state of Michigan, the United States of America, but also the city to house, to host, for the city of St. Louis to host. The public aquarium so right now i got various designs in the work like this is my crab palladium outlook this right here is the modern take with our with dinosaur bike fish up on top mm -hmm. and then we got our albino down here and then we got uh, a bank we got an apartment kind of complex building another building and they can even swim inside of these and wrap around the back so that way you can see the back side of the structure these are live aquatic plants and you can see they're thriving and I'm back that is the albino she is my favorite one I love her and then this one right here is like an egg where you know where they can hatch but I can't Bottom. And then over here is where I house the male better. There he is. There he is. Look at this beauty right there. Yep, he's growing and he's, he's just getting more color. You can see he's going to be a nice little go. Okay, and then we got our little other fish here that you know, he kind of watches over. And I don't know if you can notice the difference, but you can see these ones are smaller than. The other ones I have in the 36 gallon aquarium. So we got a lot going on right now. As I also in my spare time do stop motion animation, comic collectible memorabilia diorama tutorials, as well as Western Magna, Magna anime figure, action figure reviews. So um, that's what I do on my channel. My YouTube channel, and I uh, also spread it, uh, spread it on my uh, social media channels for those that might not be able to get the YouTube, might not be able to get the Instagram, but they, at least they get the Facebook. So there's that go around that. Still waiting for more of the Masterverse to arrive, as well as get the new 2024 line that just came out, which is the Mechanic and uh, Battle Armor He Man. So right now I'm just currently working on three panels for the portable play set with interchangeable face templates like these. These are you know templates that you can swap out and change. Um, yes, they do have windows, and the windows are right over here. Uh, see where I put them at? Hold on. 
So here are our windows, which are going to go on this building and on this building. And I am going to magnetize uh, these certain areas of this billboard. And yes, uh, this is the very first prototype of them. So there will be plenty more that are going to be coming. But for now, this is what it looks like here. And now I want to show you what it looks like with the windows in. So that way you can have your Spider-Man crawling around with his little magnetic kung fu grip. So that way you can have your Marvel Legends, that way you can have your Joy Toys, you can have your TMNTs, you can have your Masterverse. My next project up on line is designing and building the um, Castle Grayskull template. As you can see, I get my inspiration from... Um, extreme sets they were my first ones where i got the, the arcade building and then i also got the ground pack which you know is right here so through that then uh watching other people doing uh foam and you know me not really having that many that much experience i was like well you know what if he, if they can um make this out of, you know, out of foam, I was like, well, why not make a portable playset where we can attach magnets. Put it on my back right here. I mean, this may weigh about five pounds, but as you can see, I'm, I got the inside of the apartment building, start the hallways and, and such like this. Um, and then the furniture over here that, uh, that are Mayberry, because you, know, you need your furnitures. Got this out uh, here for um, street signs, uh, bookshelves, and electronic devices and such. But anyways, um, this right here, so that way we can attach our templates. You know, I'm, I got three built out of four. That way you can do a total uh, toy photography, videography, mix your toy photography and your videography by taking your portable playset of your uh two foot tall uh four four panel and you can be able to mix it within your city to make it more realistic or do what i'm doing right now take them apart and then you can have them look like they're walking through a city but that's it for the here and now as i I'm currently working on this, and I will tell you something here, real quick. Here is all the foam pieces, which, you know, see, I'm going to take these foam pieces, and then wrap that around, and now I got foam bricks for action battle scenes. You're like, wow, how about those bricks? How come, how come you, uh, when you let us know where those bricks came from, it's certainly real. So I got the, the, I, I got the stone, uh, well, the rooftop. Cost me 69 cents. I got the floor. Cost me 69 cents. Here's my brick. And that cost me 69 cents. So you can see I, I uh, made it, uh, affordable now all I'm gonna charge is for the cost labor and then for the ingenuity of designing the building and then putting it together with actual doors actual windows that are workable fully functional and fully operational as you can see these uh, building that I just showed with the door still has windows that I have yet to cut out and place in on top and install that So it will come with this that's fully functional this I'm gonna put a sign over here, so I'm still adding detail So there's more of that this can house a uh, Garage, you know kind of like a garage where you can store your vehicle because inside of here as you can see just for reference I got a 2.5 gallon empty aquarium and then right here these are these windows which I'm still going to be building and design a church take this set that right over here and then set the other one right over there but you can kind of see how good that looks and that's that's not uh, 
getting, you know, now that's that's what it looks like right now without it even being completed. So, in the meantime, thank you for stopping in today in my office. Hopefully you have a happy new year as, uh, we celebrate the new year's together. Until next time, take care, God bless, and I'll see you when I see you. Keep it up. DM me if you're interested in getting your own personal uh, playset with with the swappable uh, templates. This right here is the prototype. Let me know if you like it, because I'm loving it.